Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like we got a little bit of the wet and other diapers. Seems like someone is just a tad bit, well, it's probably more than a tad, a lot emasculated. As I've been seeing all these Big 12 podcasters and see my buddy Numbskull the other day talking about how the poor old Big 12 was just hated so much. Everybody hates the Big 12 because they have so much parity. And anybody can win the conference. And he'd much rather have a conference like that. <laughs> because they have more parity than any other conference out there. Ack! Wrong answer. And I'm going to tell you why. But before I get to all that, here they come once again. It's the four horsemen shoutouts. And they go to Shane Moore, The Bomb, Squidwater, and Alpha Dragon Gaming FTW, our Mount Up Salad Ready to Go and gonna help us with today's college football invasion. And if you want to get your random four horsemen shout out like they did, get your badge as well and get deputized like they have. It's not for $2.99 a month. That's just 75 cents a week. That's just a half a bottle of water for the outlaws. A little join button next to the subscribe button. Also, you could be the comment of the day, which is coming later in the show. Now, let's talk about it. Here they come once again, riding on in. It's the Outlaw Posse now, in effect. And if you want to contact the Outlaw and possibly give me some ideas for the show, because we are the common Joe and common Sally in the know, even more so than all me talking heads, or if you even want to be on the show, I can be reached on Twitter, aka X, aka the Bowels of Pluto, or whatever we're going to call it next year, at OCF Productions. Now, getting right to it here. <laughs> now, I wasn't going to smack talk. Or, you know, basically put the Big 12 on the grill because they've been through a lot, especially at the hands of the SEC, who's emasculated them quite profusely. Uh, we took Arkansas way back when, when they were in the Southwest Conference, and that conference basically ended up merging with the Big 12. And then as we uh, progressed along in 2012, they took Texas a and and Missouri from the Big 12, and then they took their two bell cows, they're two money makers. They're two blue bloods. Although some people will debate that Texas is a blue blood, but they took Oklahoma and Texas, and that was the final emasculation. And they just can't recover from it. They went and got four teams to replace them. It took four teams to replace two teams. That should tell you something in itself. But the main problem I have with what the Big 12 people are saying is what numbskull says that everybody's hating on us <laughs> everybody hates the big 12 they're picking on us <laughs> nobody's picking on y'all man they just come over and take what they want when they want the big 10 i'm like i said we're gonna be cocky about this but since y'all keep bringing the shit up and whining and crying about it losing your noodle then i'm gonna have to address it and I'm, 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 I guess I'm going to have to be a little cocky about it. But if the Big Ten or the SEC decide they want to come over there again and take your shit, they probably will. Just like they're going to do the ACC. This is going to be, a, a, before long, it's probably just going to be the SEC and the Big Ten. Just a bigger version of the NFL. Maybe not quite as big as what we used to see in college football be, but a little bit bigger than the NFL. I'd say between 48 and 64 teams down the road, more likely 48. But the whole thing, the whole argument for the Big 12 now is the thing that really gets me and galls me about them is they keep on saying, well, we like our conference better anyway because we got more parity and anybody can win this league. Well, no shit. <laughs> you bunch of mid-carters, man. Somebody's got to win it. <laughs> Somebody's going to win that conference. And maybe, like I said, I tried to give you all a little hope. Maybe it will form a new blue blood of sorts. But I don't think that's really going to happen. I was just saying that to make y'all feel better. 
what's going to happen is, like I said, eventually y'all's day is coming just like the ACC and the Pac-12. That's what's going to happen. But as far as parity goes and 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 being um, competitive across the board or, or having the, the deepest conference, that shit don't fly. That's not true at all. Y'all got what I call mid-card parity. <laughs> Meanwhile, the SEC has something we call championship parity, see? Because now with the addition of Oklahoma and Texas, guess what? The SEC has eight former national champions since the advent of the BCS, which is the modern, modern, modern era for all those that like to throw out when football was modern. We won't get into that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, since the advent of the BCS, uh, with the addition of Oklahoma and Texas, now the SEC has eight former national champions. That's called championship parity, not mid-card parity. That's called real parity, championship parity. And when y'all can start winning national titles in one of the two big money-making sports, and y'all might be pretty good in basketball. That'll be y'all's key. That's what everybody's honing in on. All the Big 12 podcasters out there are like, oh, we're going to. We're just going to be the basketball conference. We're going to be the best basketball conference. Well, eventually, we're going to take that shit from you, too. So I don't know if you noticed, but Alabama made the Final Four. And they had football school. And eventually, someone's going to come over and take Kansas away from y'all. Probably um, down the road, maybe even a team like Texas Tech. Or maybe even Utah. And... Uh, Arizona, Arizona State. But definitely teams like Utah and Kansas and maybe even Oklahoma State are probably going to end up getting swallowed up by the Big Ten of the SEC down the road. And then that's going to leave y'all with another hateful eight. And y'all just going to be hateful expiration date because y'all going to slip down to Mountain West status. Maybe even the max status. And y'all just going to go away. Just like the Pac-12 did. Just like the ACC is going to do. Hate to be cocky about it, but that's what's coming. And that's all I got to say about that. Now, let's get to the comment of the day. The comment of the day goes to Kill Back First, a.k.a. Zion Soul 777 He says, of course, college football is the king of all sports. And I think OU will surprise everyone. That said, there are a lot of other sports. The SEC better be ready to deal with the Sooners in the Longhorns Inn. Seriously. And that's in reference to the podcast that I've done about uh, Crane and Company and Josh Pate basically saying that Texas and Oklahoma fans are not ready for the SEC. And that's all i got to say about that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, there's a little heart thanks option down here. If you want to smash that, it be a one-time donation to the program. That will be highly appreciated. KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now officially dismissed.